This is Ken Jacobson. I'm. Uh, this is November 28, uh, uh, 2022. I'm here with my father-in-law, John Kapner, and we're going to take a minute here and uh, talk a little bit about John's uh, uh, growing up years and uh, get his impressions of his parents. John, could you tell me um, what stands out in your mind about your mother growing up and just your experience with her? Well, she was a very talented woman, especially in music, uh, piano, uh, great pianist, piano player. And she would accompany individuals uh, throughout the Bear River Valley. Uh, uh, I remember when I was young, growing up on a farm, that uh, she and, and my father's brothers wife would fix meals for the, uh, for my dad and his brother and, and those who were harvest, harvesting wheat. She would cook the meals and then take the meals up to the dry farm and serve the meals. And they were really good, good meals. Um, so do you never, do you always remember a piano being in the house? Did your dad? Oh, yes. So your dad, you know, made sure that that was available to her and you had a piano in the home? And uh, yes, we had a piano in the, in the front room. Um, of course, she was a, a hard worker. She had to be growing up on a farm, you know. Living on a farm. I'm sure they had their challenges because both of them came from the city. They lived in Salt Lake City. So she came. I remember her telling me and telling the family that she was the oldest of five and she would <clears throat> take the, her five siblings down to. Uh, what, 13th South? What park is that? It's not Pioneer Park, is it? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, this one time she did that, <clears throat> she was kind of, kind of crazy because she didn't know where they were. <laughs> <laughs> eventually she came back, put in a little wagon with all the four siblings in it. What about your dad? What do you what do you remember, and what stands out in your mind about your father? Uh, he was a hard worker. He was an individual. Uh, he had he was kind of a health wise. He had bad health in his life, and so that was kind of an affliction to him. But he, he went out there and did his work, and I remember this one time. Riding, he was driving the tractor, and I was sitting, you know, in his lap. I must have been uh, six, seven years oh old. Oh my goodness, you weren't very old, were you? No, driving the tractor from the dry farm down to Riverside, Jack Rich place. It probably took uh, maybe half hour. Wow. Now, did he serve a mission? He did. He served a mission to Germany along with his uh, younger brother, Jax, went to Germany. Uh, Leland went to the oldest brother. He, and they were all on the same mission at the same time. Oh, really? Uh, where did he go? That would have been quite a sacrifice for your grandparents to yeah. support, you know. I think, I think Leland went to... Um, I gotta remember my countries. I think he was in Europe too. He was. Oh, in he was in Europe. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! And then their cousin Russell, Uncle Russell, I call him Uncle, but actually he was a cousin. Uncle Russell was over there at the same time. So they all 
I'm sure he was excited when you got your call to England, right? I mean, he was. Now, did your brothers? Did your brothers go to? I, I think they all went on missions. Did any of them go foreign, or were they all? Yeah, my two older brothers I went to uh, Germany, I believe. David and Paul. And I went to England. Uh, I think David went to Germany. I'm, I think Paul did too. I'm not sure. Uh, well, one of them. His wife's Danish, and he met yes. her after they came back, after he came home off his well, mission, and she was and here. Well, our mother met, <laughs> met her, and she was a hairdresser. She met her when she did her hair. Probably thought, hmm, she made a good wife for my son, Paul. That's probably the motivation behind that story. Well, good. Well, thanks for sharing that, John. Appreciate it.